Hello, my name's Edmund, and I'm introducing XYZ3D, a framework I built to make these cool 3D websites that are floating all around me. Um, it was really complicated about a year ago to make 3D websites. You needed to understand a lot of details about, let's say, post effects and 3JS setups with rendering canvases and so on. Um, so I decided to make this framework that turned thousands of lines of code into 100 lines of code. Um, and here it is. So as you hover the mouse in one of these websites, you can see there's uh, camera movement and animations being triggered. Um, so as I click in some of the sites, some actions happen, like an animation plays, and once the animation finishes, uh, HTML pops up. Um, so you could easily, in the framework, uh, change this HTML to be uh, your Instagram page or, or um, a Shopify shop or something like that. Um, it really simplifies con connecting uh, 3D models and uh, 2D, let's say, HTML pages. The other thing is, is you can click on different models and, and assign it to be a pop-up. So this will open up um, a pop-up to go to Twitter, for instance. Um, and yeah, it supports mobile devices. So here's my phone. I'm going to click on a model here. Animation plays and it opens. It's uh, it's yeah, display size agnostic. Um, it comes with a Blender plugin and a lot more. So I'm excited to share it. All right, here I have Blender 3.4 open, and on the side is the XYZ 3D plugin. Um, there's a lot of options, but it's really simple, and I'll explain it in depth in another video. For this one, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, change this text color from a purple to, let's say, a uh, green, um, as I just did. I'm going to save it and then use the export option in the plugin um, to export the model. So now it, the model was exported, the website, the server detected a change in the GLTF, and there it is, the change we just made um, displaying really quickly. So you can see how easy it is to do some rapid prototyping, um, change your animation, export your GLTF, and, and uh, play the animation immediately, um, and more. All right, so now I'll display some of the HTML that was used, or actually the only HTML that was used to create this website right here. Um, it's quite amazing. It's 200 lines of code, uh, and it has just some really basic HTML components. There's a, a canvas for rendering, a um, navigation a nav bar setup, and a pop-up for the iframe content along with a progress bar. Then we have a script where XYZ3D is um, instanced and in this script we have a lot of options which I'll go into later in detail but for this one let's just turn on the debugging options um, let's hit save and now you can see an FPS readout has appeared a console has just been displayed at the bottom and you have some uh, light helper on all the lights and a uh, raycast uh, sphere to show you exactly where you're raycasting in your scene another nice component of XYC3D is that you get the camera scene and render of 3JS um, after setup is done so you can continue to um, do whatever you need to do um, with the 3JS components uh, which makes it really extensible and easy and then if you want to change you know build your own library on top change material components or whatever uh, it's all right there for you um, and the rest of the code is very basic this is just like a nav bar uh, event listeners and so on